The BYD Atto 3 is a five-seater electric SUV positioned above the E6 MPV. This new electric SUV might be new to the Indian market but is a successful global model. It's based on the brand's Dragon Face 3.0 design philosophy which lends the vehicle attractive styling. The tastefully done up elements comprise a diffused chrome grille with sleek LED headlamps, funky alloys, brushed silver and aluminium accents, and wraparound LED tail lamps with a light bar. It's a mid-sized SUV with a compact footprint and proportions. Yet, it stands out be it for its nice styling outside or within. Subscribe to the channel and support us. We provide information about new cars. Let's continue the video. The BYD Atto 3 is a 5-seater electric SUV positioned above the E6 MPV in BYD Auto's India lineup. This new electric SUV might be new to the Indian market but is a successful global model. It's based on the brand's Dragon Face 3.0 design philosophy which lends the vehicle attractive styling. The tastefully done elements comprise a diffused chrome grille with sleek LED headlamps, funky alloys, brushed silver and aluminium accents, and wraparound LED tail lamps with a light bar. It's a mid-sized SUV with a compact footprint and proportions. Yet, it stands out for its nice styling outside as well as inside. Now, whether you like the interior design or not, you will have to give it to BYD for experimenting and bringing in an oddball design. It combines the concept of gym and music. Hence, you see muscular elements like the white curvy engravement on the dashboard and dumbbell inspired AC vents. Then, the guitar like strings on the door can actually be plucked to produce a rhythm. These also help in holding the bottle or the stuff kept in the door pad in place. The wacky design also means storage places are a bit weird but in plenty. For example, the center armrest has a narrow opening but deep stowage. Similarly, the lower half of the front central tunnel has a storage place but it's not easy to access. The quality of materials is respectable with smooth edges, soft materials, and a combination of white black blue leather. The visibility at the front is good, but the rear is hampered due to a slim windscreen. Still, the high resolution 360 degree camera helps, with wide angles covering even the blind spots while reversing. The headrest integrated seats, too, look and feel nice, and are snug. Then, the second row has sufficient knee room with a flat floor but is tight in terms of headroom. Three occupants can sit abreast here but the rear middle backrest feels a little upright. Besides, there's no reclining option at all. Thankfully, the huge panoramic sunroof adds to the sense of space and comes with an electric slide and anti-pinch feature. Moreover, the boot space gets some adjustments to set a flat area with the seats folded. At 440 liters, it's decent, but BYD missed an opportunity to provide a frunk, front storage under the hood, here. Powered by a 60.48 kWh battery pack paired with an electric motor mounted on the front axle, the Atto 3 offers a range of 521 km, are I claimed. It makes 201 bhp and 310 Nm of torque, which is quite sufficient to help get this heavy car going. In fact, it sprints from 0 100 kmph in just 7.3 seconds. And as with other EVs, it's very silent and only the tire noise filters into the cabin at triple digit speeds. The three drive modes Eco, Normal, and Sport have subtle differences in terms of throttle response, with the Sport having the most in terms of immediacy. There's an additional snow mode that restricts the throttle response, which is otherwise instant. The regeneration though, whether in standard or high, isn't substantial to stop the car or provide one pedal drive. The BYD Atto 3 doesn't feel unusual when compared to any ICE car in terms of driving. Though it was born as an EV on the e-platform 3.0, it has easy to drive properties with seamless e-transmission and clutchless gear shifts adding to the convenience. The Odyssey might feel intrusive and can be switched off, but it's quite easy to adapt to. The Blade battery as against Li-ion batteries is said to have better features and be ultra-safe, 
adding to the peace of mind of owners. It supports fast charging with 0 to 80% in just 50 minutes. Even in terms of reliability, BYD has backed up the blade battery with a quality to boast, it has passed the nail penetration test, which is said to be a rigorous test for batteries. In fact, it wasn't damaged or didn't deform, leak, or emit smoke after a 46-ton truck was driven over it. Additionally, it can be used to run large appliances like a power bank with an output of up to 3.3 kilowatts. In town. The Atto 3's suspension is nice and soft, so around town it can ease itself over lumps and bumps in a very comfortable fashion. Forward visibility, thanks to the low set dashboard, is very good but the smaller back window means that the view rearwards is much less impressive. There is a reversing camera, but it's too easily caked in road grime, and doesn't have its own washer system. It is a very clear camera image, though, and there's a useful 3D all-round view, as well as a transparent bonnet view should you need to pick your way over rocks or something. Meanwhile, the fat front windscreen pillar means that your view into corners and junctions isn't great. The steering is nice and light, though, and the 10.7 meter turning circle means that flitting around tight roundabouts and pulling U-turns is never going to be much of a problem. However, the woo of the pedestrian warning hum, made so that people can hear the car coming, is a constant low-speed companion and makes it sound like you're being followed by the souls of the undead. It's a bit eerie. Space in the back of the Atto 3 is mixed. There's lots of room for legs, knees and feet and the flat rear floor helps if you're trying to squeeze someone into the center rear seat. Headroom is a bit too tight, though, especially with the panoramic glass roof, which comes as standard. Actually, the roof helps a bit if you're trying to go three abreast, as if you open the sunblind it actually allows the person sat in the middle a fraction of an inch more headroom. It's a bit of a squeeze even so, the Kia Nero EV is a better bet for rear seat space. We do like the big seat back pockets though, which are subdivided so that there's a big space for a tablet or a magazine, and then two smaller pockets for phones or sunglasses. Another bonus is Isofix anchor points which don't have covers on them, and there's another Isofix point in the front passenger seat, so it's easy to click baby seats into place. There's also a couple of USB sockets, one of each again. The guitar string Dorbins get another appearance in the back, an encore? But imagine what will happen when your kids realize they can be plucked. The Atto 3's boot is a bit small at 440 liters. That's not too bad in itself, but the MG's S gives you an extra 30 liters for considerably less cash, while the Kia e Nero has 35 liters more than the BYD, which does at least outpoint the Peugeot E2008 and Vauxhall Mock Electric's respective 408 and 310 liters. On the upside, the load space is square and flat, and there's no load lip so it's easy to get large and heavy items, a suitcase, a box from a popular Swedish furniture shop, in and out. The rear seats fold almost totally flat, which helps, and while there are no handles in the boot to tumble them forwards, it's easy enough to lean in and flick the catch to release them, although there are no retainers for the rear seat belts, so they're going to get caught or stuck behind the seat backs. Oh, and the low set boot release button gets covered in road grime, so you're going to end up with messy fingers. On the upside, there's a false floor under which you can store your charging cables and, praise be, enough room to tuck the rigid luggage cover away when you don't need it. There's no front boot in the Atto 3, which is odd as there's a recessed space above the front-mounted electric motor that easily swallows a squashy bag or a backpack, yet BYD has chosen not to actually put a properly lined storage space in there, 